Braxian Trader Militia are one of the cooler sets Games Workshop has ever released. They're less overtly chaos-y than a lot of chaos kits, but they're still twisted and creepy. They are also, unfortunately, out of production, which means if you want them, you're at the mercy of either resellers or recasters. I was able to get my hands on a set of their torsos, and their covered heads and breathing tubes and tanks immediately reminded me of a twisted, warped version of Skitari, which is exactly what I'm going to be converting them into today, Dark Mechanicus Skitari. Since I only have the torsos, I needed to find a source for legs. Luckily, the vanilla Skitari ones are the correct scale, though for one of them I slid it in a sheet of plastic card to help with his proportions. One of the cooler things about the Dark Mechanicus is how personalized they can be. For my Skitari, I decided to go with a gaunt and vicious interpretation, which the vanilla Skitari legs work well for. But there's a lot of other equally valid interpretations because the Dark Mechanicus are one of the few armies that Games Workshop has only a few models for, so the design language isn't fully fleshed out. Are they the normal insectile and golden age sci-fi Mechanicus but with pentagrams and extra spiky bits? Are they more flesh and metal melting together like Forge Fiends and Hellbrutes? Or Infernal Engines, like Heldrix? Really it's up to you as the converter. The easiest thing to use for arms would have been the vanilla Skitari ones, but not only would that have made for a boring conversion, but it also wouldn't have taken full advantage of the concept of Dark Skitari who are even more twisted and transhuman than their Martian brethren. After all, a Dark Tech Priest would have even less respect for their Skitari's bodies than a normal Tech Priest, see them even more as tools with the single purpose of killing their enemies. To me, it seems that unlike normal Skatari that are maybe lightly personalized by their Tech Priest Dominus, but still largely drawn from a universal pool, for the Dark Mechanicus it would be a significantly more individualized process, with each Dark Tech Priest building their own Skatari retinue in their own way. To match that ethos, I outfitted my Skatari with various weapon limbs. While I don't play Warhammer, and my models aren't intended to be tournament legal, I still like to try and keep them somewhat close to what they would be proxying, which in this case meant gun limbs. This was made difficult by two main issues though. The first was that I didn't want limbs that made my Skatari look too cool or in control, because I felt like that took away from the story of them as tools crafted by their tech priest. And the second is that finding sinister looking guns of this scale is actually weirdly difficult. I ended up compromising and only having two of them have ranged weapons. For the two that do have gun arms, I just used the ones from the Cataphron kit. I did try to merge an arcoflagellant arm with a gun, but that simply didn't look as good. With my Skitari's main armaments in place, picking their other arm was more about flavor than functionality. After trying a few different options, I settled on using the Dark Eldar Talos Vestigial Arms. They're creepy and insectile, and it's hard to know exactly where the flesh ends and the mechanical begins, which is perfect for Mechanicus of any kind, but especially for my interpretation of the Dark Mechanicus. While it wasn't worth making multiple of, I also converted a Dark Rust Stalker. This was a tad more complicated, as I had to first saw the rust stalker in half at the waist, glue the legs into the hips, and then glue all that to the renegade militia torso. While I could have used the normal cord claws and transonic blades, I opted instead for gluing in place a pair of flails from an arcoflagellant. They're really reminiscent of cockroach antennas, creep me out immensely, and are thus perfect for chaos. And with that my Skatari were ready to do the dark bidding of their tech priest. There's an extent to which I've never been particularly interested in the dark mechanicus, because to me there's already enough dark gothic strangeness in the normal mechanicus that adding chaos on top of that seems like putting a hat on a hat. But working through this conversion has made me really appreciate the unique edge they can bring, and I'll be trying my hand at more in the future. If you're interested in seeing those conversions when they come out, then hit the subscribe button. I also have a Patreon, so go check that out if you want to contribute to the channel and get a say in what I convert next. Thanks for watching.